This is just a quick video on configuration of product properties within PlanApps Administrator. Um, and I'm going to go over kind of what the advantages of doing it via product properties are. Um, normally, when you configure specifications, it was always done at a unit level. So you configure specs for all of your quality variables for each unit and for all the products that could be uh, ran on that machine. So I've got two machines and I both make the same product mix on them. So I would have to configure specs for all the quality variables on PM1 dry end as well as PM2 dry end. So the advantage of product properties is that you can manage it at a higher level and map those specs to both the machines that would run that product and the quality variables associated with each one of those. So another advantage is that if you can find the uniqueness within your product mix, then you can minimize your spec entry even further. So with this product mix, some of the uniquenesses are, I have a gloss and a matte products. So when I run a gloss product, the smoothness and opacity specs are gonna be the same regardless of what machine I run it on. And same thing when I run a matte, the opacity and smoothness would be the same with the matte grade. Um, another uniqueness is, is the weight of the paper. So 50, 60, and 70 pound paper is all gonna have the same basis, basis weight and caliper specs. And the third uniqueness is, is the uh, color of the paper. So I've got white, blue, and red. And when I have a white product, the LAB targets are the same. When I have a blue, blue product, the LAB targets the same for that. So those are really the three uniquenesses that I have in this product mix. A gloss matte uniqueness, the weight of the paper, and the color of the paper. So I can create product properties based on those uniquenesses and reduce the amount of specs that I have to maintain. So I'm gonna start out, I'll show you two different ways to do the, the mapping of these characteristics to your, to your products. Um, one is where you have to do the mapping on, on each unit and the other is via default characteristics that you can set on, on each one of the products.